One of my students just landed a DevOps job in two weeks, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can do the same. My name is Misha, I'm an ex-nurse turned senior DevOps, and I help people land DevOps jobs within months. So Leonard here, he definitely set a record in KubeCraft, and he, let's just dive in what he has written here. So he was three months jobless and doubting if he was still in the right space. And two weeks ago, he joined KubeCraft with 100 LinkedIn connections, zero confidence in Kubernetes, and no clear direction. But very quickly, his LinkedIn exploded to 500 connections, he built a home lab, and he landed a DevOps job. And now I'll give you that system for free and show you how Leonard has used this to land his DevOps job in two weeks. The framework I teach in KubeCraft is called the Tech Framework. Four pillars of a solid, successful career change. If you take away any of these pillars, you are not going to succeed very quickly. So let me explain what this framework stands for. It's Tech, T-E-C-H, Tools, Experience, Content, and Human. And very briefly, Tools is the first one. So tools is something that, of course, you need to focus on on a DevOps engineer. But the mistake that most DevOps engineers make, or aspiring DevOps engineers, is that they're completely focused on the tools. That's the only thing they think about, the only thing they're studying, and they wonder why they constantly get rejected. Because tools is not the complete package. You need more. But in terms of tools, my advice is to focus on Kubernetes and cloud-native technology, and as you saw, Leonard built a Kubernetes home lab, and this is what landed him the job. So that is where the money is these days. You need to have the right set of tools. You need to know exactly what to focus on, right? So focus on learning Linux, containers, and Kubernetes, and that will get you very far in your journey. E stands for experience. A huge mistake that most people make is they think that experience only can be gained on a job or that you actually have to work somewhere in order to get meaningful experience. But this is completely false. I landed my first DevOps job using experience that I had gained in my free time by do doing my home lab and my RuneScape bot farm automation projects. That is what landed me my first DevOps job. So experience is not something that you need to get on a job. Now, the reason why I emphasize building a home lab so much is because you get this experience, but then you also are able to talk about that experience. The C stands for content. And by this, I don't mean you have to become a content creator, but you have to be very conscious about the content that you put out to the internet and leverage that to land your job quicker. So your CV, for example, is content. You don't have to become a YouTuber, but you can put out a good CV. Likewise with your LinkedIn profile. I get so many students who come in, they say they get tons of rejections, and then their LinkedIn profile doesn't even have a profile picture or any listed experience. I mean, no shit. Of course you're going to get rejected because someone looks at your profile, there's no effort in it, and you have zero connections. People think you are a nobody, and I don't necessarily like that this is the way, but if you have a LinkedIn profile with 500 plus connections, you have listed experience and you have some content on there, you're going to land jobs so much quicker than anybody who isn't doing that. And finally, the last pillar of the tech framework is human. Again, we're not just focusing on tools. We're not just focusing on content. You also have to focus on human because DevOps is actually a role where you have to interact with humans a lot. You have to work with stakeholders. You have to work with dev teams. You have to convince stakeholders that, for example, Kubernetes is the right way to go in your organization. You have to also train your people skills. Likewise for your interviews, right? Like you can have all the tech skills in the world, but if you land a job interview and you just completely close up, you don't know how to present yourself, you're going to struggle with landing jobs. In KubeCraft, we also teach a lot about social skills, about presentation, and ha having a good setup, right? So all of these all come into play in a successful career change. Now, this is what Leonard did as well. He had less than 100 LinkedIn connections and zero confidence in Kubernetes. So he had, he had no content, he had no experience and no tools. He didn't know what, what the right tools were. But we gave him a clear direction. I, I explained to him, start building a Kubernetes home lab, get the experience, right? Get the experience at home document that journey on your LinkedIn, and then you connect with other people from the community on LinkedIn. So we have a networking incentive in the community. And when you join, you get like over 300 instant LinkedIn connections. It's great. But more than that, he, he exploded to 543 because when you add connections, 
then those connections will also add you and then it starts growing very quickly. So now a recruiter sees your profile and with our guidance, he set up his profile properly. Then he sees experience on the profile, a good profile picture, good content, and he has 500 plus connections. This must be somebody. And now the algorithm is also showing you to other people and therefore to other recruiters. And that's how this system works. And the key part here, of course, is the, the home lab as well. Because look what he says here. I landed a new DevOps job and I'm starting in two weeks thanks to confidently answering what is a control plane. When you build a home lab and you list that on your CV, then people will start asking questions about that. And your interviews, they will turn more into conversations rather than examinations. And if you have projects that you have built yourself, then your interviews will be about your projects. You will enter the interview and they're going to ask, hey, so this Kubernetes home lab thing, what is that all about? And then instead of just worrying about all of the technical stuff, it's like, oh, well, I, I built this and I did that. And you know exactly what to say because you did it, because you built it yourself. And this is the power of building a home lab from scratch doing it the proper way and knowing all of the elements in it. And this is why he was able to answer what is a control plane confidently because he set it up himself, right? He has been experimenting with multiple nodes and now he was able to explain that in his interview. So the most important thing that you can start doing for your career change is to start building a home lab today. Let me explain to you how you should start one. First, you find an old laptop. I'm 99% sure you have an old laptop somewhere lying around and if you don't have one, then ask your friends, your family, or anyone you can think of if they have an old laptop lying in their closet. And I'm 100% sure that you will find someone that's, that's willing to give or loan you an old laptop. Then what you do is you install Linux on that. And boom, you have a home lab. A huge mistake is what people make is that they, <laughs> they see all these YouTubers with nice big racks and LED lighting and they think that is a home lab. Well, I'm here to tell you a laptop with Linux on it where you can experiment on, that is a home lab. That is enough to start learning. I literally have people in the community who land jobs with just an old ThinkPad as a home lab. And when you have gained some traction with Linux, you master the basics. I really like the benchmark of being able to install Arch Linux from scratch and knowing exactly what you're doing. When you have reached that level, then you can move on to containers and Kubernetes. Along the way, what you do is you document this process on a blog and LinkedIn, and this is going to supercharge your career change, 100%. This is how it works. And it works so well that we are landing jobs almost every week in Kuberef now, because this is Leonard. But here's another one, Daniel, four days ago, he, he landed a DevOps job and he came straight out of university with no prior job experience. And look what he says, talking about my home lab and all the other little projects was the biggest part of my interview process. Like I'm not making this stuff up, guys. This stuff really works. But the reason why Leonard and Daniel can come in and land jobs within weeks is because all of the systems are already in place in Kubecraft. I have figured it all out for you and I'll teach you exactly how to do this and you can save a ton of time by doing this. If you're serious about landing a DevOps job like these guys, then maybe you're interested in my mentorship program. You can find the link in the description below, but I only take up about 10 students a month, so get your spot before they're gone. Thank you so much for watching, and see you in the next video.